Tell me about your daughter. Okay, my daughter, she's 21 and she's actually a chef inside in one of the one of the restaurants there in the city. But she's also doing a culinary course out in CIT on her days off. This is two days a week. So she doesn't have her own transport. So she gets out in the morning by bus and she gets back in the evening by bus as well. So last night she got on the six o'clock bus from CIT. It was going into the city. And all she had was a 20 euro note. She didn't have any change. So the bus driver, she handed to the bus driver and he said, I don't have change of that. And she said she could see he had loads of change in his little machine. And she said, I'm sorry. She said, I don't have anything smaller. Well, he said, I can't change it. I don't have change. You don't have change of 20 or he said, no. So she said, what am I supposed to do? And he shrugged his shoulders, but he said, you can't pay. So she got off the bus. He didn't call her back. And she had to walk from CIT at six o'clock last night out to Blackpool. So she's living in Blackpool. She had her little daughter who's two with a babysitter. The babysitter had to go. She was late back. And the babysitter had to find somebody else to mind my little granddaughter until my daughter got back from, from the IT last night. It's an awful so shame. It looked, yeah, a half of seven last night. Took her an hour and a half to walk from CIT yeah, to Blackpool. On her and, own. and it was cold. And it, it was, was cold. cold and it was dark. And her daughter was waiting for her at home yeah, and she'd had yeah. a long day. And mm. there was there was no shop where she could have changed the 20 or nobody could have come and picked her up, no? No, no, because like that, I'm in Carry Tool and she didn't Grant, even ring me. She if she had even... rang me, we, I would have went in. My dad is in Glamour. He said he would have went in for her. One of us would have went, but she wouldn't ring up. I thought I had a nice comment. As they say, she well. struck off Shanks Mayor, did it yeah. herself. Um, yeah. Why didn't the bus driver just say, ah, go on, you know, give it to me the next time? I don't know. Like she said, she gets the bus twice a week. Now, I don't know if it was the same driver. I didn't even ask her that. But she said, even after, she said, if he had taken my name, Mama, she said, or asked me my phone number, then she said, he could have rang. And I would have paid him to you because the same kid, now night, she, she does a lot for the homeless. And she's a great kid, like, and I think it was just very hurtful then that she couldn't even get a bus home for two euro. I know people are going to say she should have had the change. Uh, yeah, but that's and fine. Nice and we, yeah, but there are sometimes the one we don't, you know? Sometimes yeah, the one yeah. we don't. I mean, like on a couple of occasions, I've been caught at the toll without change, right? Um, yeah, and yeah. They'll, they'll always say, look, just here, I'll take your car, Reg, and they send me a bill. I go online and, and, I, and I pay the two euro or whatever the case may be. And you know, she, would I, have paid, she would have went in to pay the money. I know her. She's that kind. She would have paid it. She would have gave it tonight if it was the same driver. Or even if he had left her on, I know she would have went on the bus this evening. And if he was there, she would have given him four instead of two euro. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I was, I was in a fish shop in the summer. I think it was down in Carcevine in the summer. I was buying fish and it was uh, 20 euro and 65 cent or something like that. And I had the 20 euro and I had another 20 and a 10. I said, uh, here's the, I said, hang on, I'm double parked outside. I'll go out and get the change. I keep changing a little tray. He said, uh, ah, don't worry about the 60 cent. We'll catch you the next time. That's of course, yeah. And it's what you would do. You wouldn't see anyone struggling. Or if you're going to a shop and I've seen it myself, I happened to be in the shop during the week and there was a lady and she didn't have enough or her card or something. Anyway, there was something that it was her cup of coffee and she didn't have enough money. And she was embarrassed. But the girl behind said, look, let that go. I'll pay for it. A small little gesture. And it's a That's pity that somebody on the bus didn't hear what was going on, jump up yeah. and pay the two euro, you know? I know, I know. But I suppose they didn't. But it was just the fact that she has to walk all the way home. I'm just thinking, thank God, nothing happened to her. You don't know. But you know, it was a dark, cold so night. 21-year-old girl out on her own. Was, who, yeah, and who she was knows? worrying about her baby being picked up, it being late, and then having to go home at half a seven, you know, with a small child. It, it was crazy. Like, is there is there any way that bus drivers are driven distracted with people coming on with 20s or maybe even 50s and they're just fed up of it? Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I can't answer that, I don't know, but I, like, 
he did have change. As she said, he did have the change. She could say, she said, I wouldn't care if he'd given it to me back all in two. I really wouldn't care what he'd given me back once he had left me on the bus. And what does it make you feel like as a mother? I, like I was sitting down last night after she t- ringing me when she got home and I was upset obviously because she hadn't contacted us and we would have went for her. But I was just thinking, I wonder does he have children himself? And like, as a dad or as a family person, would he not think if that was my daughter, if that was my niece, what would he have done? What would he like to someone do? Well, how would he feel, for instance, if his daughter was put off the bus for two euro? Yeah, we should we should treat everybody the way we wish to be treated ourselves, and and uh, and certainly we're we're very protective of our children. So a mother and a father like you would be very very annoyed and would be liable to get in touch with Bus Erin, which we have which we have done, and I'm waiting for a response. I think Bus Erin themselves would be would be disappointed at his behaviour. To be honest, I think so too. I don't think people for the sake of two euro. To your, I think people, I think us parents wouldn't like that either. To be quite honest about it, as I said, God forbid if something had happened to her last night walking home, and that could have happened. That it could, could have, happened. have happened, and it would have been like for the sake of two euro. Let's see what their response is to it, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't want to get in touch with you and apologise, but we'll see. They may come back and say. Our drivers are plagued with people getting on with 20s and we had to make a call on this or whatever the case may be. But, you know, in the old days, people kind of said, ah, go on, you'll be grand. Ah, go on. Go I know, on. but I, I don't know. I think since all this this COVID has started, people, people, some people are nicer, but some people, it's, it's changed them. Not for the better. It really has. I, I see that myself. You're, um, you're seeing it You're seeing it working at work, like the people yeah. are like more stressed, more anxious. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, shorter fuse. Like, yeah, that's what it is, and it's even like you're out walking or you're out running, and people are going to the opposite side of the road to catch you out. Then it's like they're afraid to say hello anymore. People are afraid to lift their heads even say hello. It's just, it's just strange. All right. Well, let's let's see what uh, what um, Boss Aram does have to say oh. on the matter. Okay, and we'll be back All to right. you. All right. Oh, okay. Thanks for Cheers. Take nice. care. Thank you. Yeah. You know, there should be there should be the unwritten rule. Ah, go on. Don't let it happen again. Go on. Don't let it happen again. Alexandria. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Now I got a response from Boss Aaron. If I could find the second thing, I put it down there a second ago. <laughs> Just while I'm finding it, this your back to um, the caller earlier on Alice's daughter who had to walk from CIT all the way to Blackpool because the bus driver wouldn't take uh, a 20 euro. Yeah. Okay. Um, I felt I'd just be doing that um, poor girl and then justice by actually not calling and saying that I've had experiences like that and more with bus Aaron and it's, it's diabolical. And I don't want to paint all the bus drivers with the same stroke, of course, but just speaking on the experiences I had have, I have had that were negative. I, um, when I was in fifth year in school, I relied solely on the bus service to get from the point in town to home and um, I had a bus driver um, tell me that as I got on the bus in my school uniform that the student fare didn't exist which of course is just completely fabricated um, and he refused me entry onto the bus and he told me if I had an issue to take it up with the station but you were in someone a, higher than him you were in a s- yeah. school uniform yeah I there is a student yeah. fare yeah there's a student fare and I, it was in and I had only gotten it that morning on that same bus line the 203 and um, he refused my entry. So um, after a couple of minutes of an altercation, I stepped off the bus and livid, considering this was, I, I, you know, I had had it up to this point with experiences with bus drivers that were negative. I rang um, bus there. But that's bizarre, line, like, um, that a bus driver would oh, tell a fifth year student in uniform to get off the bus. Yeah. Or did he want uh-huh. you to pay more, was it? No, he didn't. He d- I, well, yeah, he was, he was saying that... Um, the student fair didn't exist for no apparent reason, considering I had gotten it this morning. I made that point to him, and I realised that come a certain point, I was getting nowhere. And I, I rang Bus Erin. So why did, you, why, did you, why did you get off the bus? You should have refused to get off the bus. But I find, Neil, that like um, with a lot of the bus drivers, there's a lot of intimidation. And I actually, what spurred me to call was I heard a gentleman earlier speaking with you in reference to this situation. who used the term snowflake generation, and I actually believe that that's kind of a part of the thinking that contributes to the issue. I think there's a lot of ageism at play during these kind of altercations with bus drivers. 
many a time I found myself subject to this kind of a bus driver and I found myself thinking that I'm a paying customer with the same autonomy as any other person getting on this bus in spite of age. But I find it hard to believe that if it was my mother or father standing in front of them, that this wouldn't be happening. And I just think that it's it's diabolical. Like, I, it doesn't end there. I, I, I walked home. I live up Airport Hill. I walked from Grand Parade home. And... Um, I just feel like that... You walked from the I, Grand I Parade to the top yeah. of the airport hill? Yeah, because he refused me... With your school books on under, your back? Yeah, under no grounds. And I just feel many occasions where that has happened to me, where I've had a note as well, and they've refused me onto the bus. Have you I student card? Thinking, no, it, where if I've handed a bank note like that, that girl did. No, but do you have a student card? Know. You don't need it when you're in a school uniform. All right, fair enough. Uh, Thank my you. My school doesn't have student okay. cards, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, uh, and you've also had the business of handing over the 20. What if you were a bus driver and every second customer was toting 20s instead of reading the I, sign I, outside? I've, exact change. I've thought of this because I do think it's quite important to be objective when it comes to these things. But I I do think that it is a rare occasion when someone's handing a note. I've, I've been refused giving a tenner. And I just think that if, um, if I went into a shop, a cashier wouldn't deny me my right to buy it something with a 20 euro note and I don't think I don't know why we're making allowances for the bus like this is in Dublin I know a lot of routes in Dublin are private and they say that you should give exact change and if you don't have that you don't get the change back but I, I don't know if it's fair to ask of that from a public service when okay. people are really relying on this and if they're stuck with a note I just think it's wrong to deny someone on and I just have found myself walking home thinking that if God forbid anything happened to me on the way that the onus would solely be on bus airing because I would refuse my right on, which I 100% agree, and I 100% yeah. agree with Alice, and Alice, her daughter walked in the dark from yeah. CIT to Blackpool. Uh, Bus Erin responded this well, yeah. morning, right? And they said, because yeah. we asked them, what's this business? What, what, why would this happen? They said, while we cannot comment on these specific details, we are sorry to hear of any difficulties in accessing Bus Erin services. From a policy perspective, we can confirm to your program that a two euro fare should be accepted from a 20 euro note. Now, that's very interesting. Policy says that a two euro fare should be accepted from a 20 euro note. Bus Aaron encourages all passengers to avail of a leap card. Okay, that's for cashless payment. Yeah. You also get a discount and stuff like that. And you get a leap card.ie. If a formal complaint can be made to Bus Aaron with details of the time and the route, it will be investigated and followed up. And they say that there is a Bus Aaron low call number for anybody who goes through experiences like this 1 850. 836611 or through their website. So they want more details of what happened to Alice's daughter and they say that Bus Aaron's policy is that you should be able to give a 20 euro note to a bus driver and get 18, get 18 euro back. I, just, I find that interesting because I on two occasions the situations have been so extreme that I actually have called, I'd right, be quite a passive person but when something like that happens, I have to do something. And I've called, I filed the complaint and um, nothing's come of it. Like, I feel like these bus drivers act this way because they think that, especially because we're young, I think they think we won't complain. No, when we do, it won't be taken seriously and that's range true, unfortunately, on the occasions that I have complained. Like, the following morning after that experience, I went to get the bus and it was the same driver and I asked my brother, who's a student as well, in his uniform, to go on before me and um, he asked for a student fare and was given it. And then I got on and I said, oh, it exists today, does it? And he said, oh, no, the student fair only applies for those in primary school. And now for context, you know, my brother is 6'3". I don't think there's any. Ah, uh, no, that guy's that way happened. out of order. Yeah, yeah. And nothing was done of it. I complained and the lady on the phone said that, of course, it's a student fair, that that makes no sense. And um, I put it in and there was no follow up. OK, so you went through the official channels that yeah. Boss Aaron are yeah. outlining here with a formal complaint and heard nothing of it. Yeah. Well, com- well, conversations like this hopefully will help because it's yeah. tough, you know, so it's tough being young, you know. It's tough yeah, being I, young I think, and regarded yeah. as being either invisible or, or a nuisance or, a, uh, you know, it's, it's yeah. hard on the young, you know. Sometimes they don't get, um, they don't get a fair shake. But tw- some, this, this is interesting. You get on a bus with a 20 euro note, it should be accepted. That's interesting because uh, the way that I've been treated anyway with handing a note like that, I would never be under the assumption that that is what bus airing would officially say because that is not the way the bus drivers react. Okay, well, I have it here in black and white and uh, I'm not, yeah, encur- no, I'm not encouraging people. Cold, I think if, it, if yeah. at all possible, because a lot of good bus drivers out there who I know, agree, would yeah. much prefer if you had the two euro coin. No, you know? yeah. 
Uh, absolutely. And I think that there's so, I've had so many positive experiences. I really have. But I just think that if there is someone stuck, it is a rarity. To be, to be quite honest, Neil, I don't think anyone wants to break a note to go onto the bus. I think it's more out of a necessity. I don't think there's anyone really really pushing no, that bus, the bus me. driver that you dealt with upset you and it wasn't warranted um, yeah. and, and really needs to get a bit of retraining you know mm. but um, I, I do I do just think that with the note situation that it, it would be rare someone would be handing it okay. you know but if, if the yeah if the policy says that it's interesting to know thanks for taking it that's exactly what it says in black and white thanks Alexandria yeah. appreciate it thank, thank, thank you. you Nancy good morning Hi, how are you? Good. Now, you're getting the bus from Yall to Cork a couple of years ago and there you were with your 20 euro note. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so I really didn't realise it was an issue at the time. I didn't get the bus that much back then. Um, and I went down with my, my 20 euro note and the bus driver just kind of looked at me and was like, sure, what am I supposed to do with this? And I was like, oh, what? And he just went on to just give out to me about the 20 euro note. Um, what, what did he give out to you? How did he say it? Just, just like, uh, what are you doing? He was just really like surprised by the twenty euro note, and like, I, I just didn't really know what to say. So I was just like, oh, sorry, I really didn't realize. And uh, he, was, he just, he just continued to give out as if he was like a parent, and I was a child, but I was like twenty one at the time. Um, and I just, I just said okay, like I gave him back like a stern okay to be like, I get it. And then I went on the bus, and I heard him to the person behind me call, he called me a bitch. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Yeah, he called me a bitch to the man behind me, and like I just didn't want to cause any like trouble, so I just kind of stayed quiet about it. But there's, I agree with the girl before. There's definitely an element of like ageism, and I think in this case maybe a bit of sexism. Um, did you do anything? Just, did you? You didn't turn around and say, "Sorry, what did you call me?" What could I do? Like there was a bus full of people, and it all just heard the bus driver call me a bitch. So, so. he he actually mortified you in public. Oh, I was so embarrassed, yeah. Like, I know, like I apologise. Like, there was nothing more I could have done. And I'm pretty sure my dad had walked me to the bus and I, like, I said to just get off and be like, can you help me here? Because, like, what can I say, like, a 21-year-old girl? So, like, I didn't want him to kick me off the bus, you know. Did he give you the change of the 20? He did, in the end, yeah, he did. Yeah, um, but, but yeah. He, I think he just wanted to kick up a bit of a fuss. It's like, get on with your job, man, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, just really embarrassing, I think. Why would you? Why would he call somebody a word like that? I know, I know yeah. And there are some. Lo- I've had some really nice. Bus but you believe that it is that it. So I hate all the isms that we have in the world today, but they yeah. all have a reason for being created. This is ageism, isn't it? It might even be sexism if he called you the b word. Exactly. Like if I was a boy, he wouldn't have. Maybe he would have called me something else. But I think if I was just older, I, I don't think he would have been. Like he he felt the need to really give out to me about it. Yeah, 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 not on, not on. Yeah, no, not, not on. on at all. Okay, no. all right. Okay, appreciate you taking the call. Thanks, Nancy. Much obliged. Thanks, Nancy. Much obliged. Thanks.